Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Alocasia plant. While I give this one a little bit of a repot, I'll be sharing some lesser known tips about their care. These plants are gaining a lot of popularity with collectors over the last few years, especially during the pandemic break. And for good reason, you know, they're, they're beautiful plants. Alocasias in general have large glossy leaves of various shades of green, and sometimes they even have maroon colors or even some like lime green accents. There's a, quite a few varieties of them, so there's really no limit to what you can collect depending on what your needs or what your space looks like. These plants are native to the tropical regions of Asia and Australia and thrive in a hot and humid environment. So I'm going to be repotting this one. It's right now in a six inch pot. It's got nice pink colored stems, bright green leaves with nice vein accents. And we're going to throw it into this pot right here. Um, you know, I guess we're about, yeah, about an extra inch or two inch diameter, which is what we want to do when we're repotting. So that's great. I'm going to grab some soil here. I'm just using some miracle Grow sphagnum peat moss mix. Not sponsored or anything. I just think it's great soil for these plants that like a little bit of aeration in their roots. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for our repot today. So again, I'm filling the pot most of the way up. And then I'll make a hole with my old pot in the center to kind of give it a good base. We don't want to plant it too deep. We like to have the stem the proper depth. If we plant it too deep, uh, it can run into issues. So like any plant, be careful of the depth that you're setting it. This is quite a loose mixture, so I'm going to pack it down just a slight bit here. So when it comes to caring for these alocasia plants, it's important to keep their soil moist but not waterlogged. Like, in, like a lot of plants, you really want to leave the top inch or so of the soil to dry out before you give it another water. They do like to stay moist, especially in the summer if you're living in a hot climate. You can you know, keep them a little bit wetter, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, some are able to live like completely submerged in water, but for the most part, following that rule of thumb, Letting the top one inch dry out is going to do really well, the, no matter what your climate is. Now they also like bright indirect light, so a spot near a window is good, but they like to be kept warm. So you don't want to have them near a door or a drafty window, some place where cold air is going to come in if you live in a colder climate during the winter. You know, they want to have a consistent temperature, you know, 15 degrees Celsius and up. and You know, nothing, definitely nothing below 50 Fahrenheit if you're in, in, in using Fahrenheit. Um, they will not do very well. So you can see this one here, um, it's a little bit root bound. I'm making a bit of a mess, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of gently break these roots up before I go ahead and put it in here. Looks like I got my pot a little bit full, so I have to do a little bit of work to get this down in there. So maybe a fact that you maybe you do or do not know is uh, alocasia plants like to have their leaves misted. They like a lot of humidity. So you can go ahead and give them a spray or a pebble tray underneath. They really like that and will thrive. You can use a damp cloth and kind of wipe their leaves regularly to keep them looking nice and glossy. Uh, they, they have a good shine to them if you can keep the dust off of them and it helps them uh, collect more sunlight obviously as well. So it's a good tip. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more soil here. So I'm just adding a little bit more just around the edges just to kind of fill up the rest of the pots. Again, it's not going, I don't want this to be too deep in the soil, so I'm only adding maybe a quarter of an inch covering over what it was before, just to kind of give it a little bit more soil to work with and to kind of bring the soil together, so to speak. Now, Alocasia plants in general are heavy feeders, so you want to be fertilizing them fairly regularly, in, at least in the summer months. In the winter, you can back it off a little bit and they're fine with just water. Um, but if you've had them in the soil for a while where the soil maybe is running out of nutrients in the pot that you're in, you definitely want to give them a regular feeding at least once a month with just a little bit of fertilizer. A good balanced fertilizer, high in nitrogen is great. 
and they really like that and respond quite well. So anyways, that one's repotted. I think it's gonna look great in this pot. This one actually has a stand that goes with it. Just picked it up at my local Walmart. So that pretty much does it for today's video. As you know, Alcasia plants are pretty easy to care for, provided you follow these tips. If you give them a little bit of extra attention, they'll really reward you with a lot of big green leaves, big foliage, and they'll really brighten up any space. If you guys don't have one yet and you're into plants, I would highly suggest trying to pick one up. You can usually find them now at a box store, Home Depot, Walmart, or anything like that. And because of their increase in popularity, they're not hard to find anymore, and you can get a bunch of other varieties. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any suggestions for other ones, please leave them in the comments below. And other than that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.